Hey guys, it's Karma. Welcome to the video. Thank you for clicking and checking me out as always. Uh, today, we are going to continue the March 1st restock haul. This is part two, so welcome back. If you missed part one, I will link it somewhere on the screen or I'll put it into this description box so that you can watch the first part. Now, we're going to continue on with fragrances that were, eh, I like them, but mm, I don't know. I, I don't know. They're okay, and then the ones that I actually, like, loved. <clears throat> All right, so that we're going to start with, these are just okay. Like, they were, all right. Extremely Vanille. So I know this one is, like, talked about a lot in the Facebook group. I love Vanilla, so I was, like, super excited to get this one. And it has notes of um, candied fruits, lemon, white flowers, peach blossom, vanilla, caramel, musk, and benzoin. So it sounds amazing, right? <clears throat> but when I sprayed it on my skin the day I got it, it was just very light and I couldn't smell anything. Now, very strong. This is the same kind of strong I got from White Milk when I first sprayed it. I'm guessing it's the musk that they're using in this, but something was very strong in my nose just now. <laughs> so I'm letting it <clears throat> sit away. Okay. So this is like a creamy vanilla. It's creamy. Now to my nose, I don't pick up any anything else that they're saying in here besides the vanilla and caramel. That's all I'm getting. The vanilla, caramel, musk, and benzoin. I don't get any candied fruits, no lemon. I'm not getting anything floral, no white flowers. I don't get any peach blossom, which peach blossom doesn't smell like peach necessarily, but it'll have like a slight kind of peachy smell. Don't smell that. I don't pick up any fruits. Mm. Like a creamy caramel candy. Not a hard candy, but like if you, like a soft caramel vanilla soft candy. That's kind of what it smells like to me. But I don't pick up any of the other notes, no fruits or anything added to it. So, I mean, I would have liked to have seen that for some um, complexity. The thing is with a lot of vanilla, and I used to love vanilla down so much. Like a plain, I wanted to smell like straight up vanilla extract, the one you cook with. <laughs> Back in the day, that was my thing, vanilla. And um, now that I've gotten to know more fragrances and I've gotten older, I just like a little more um, complexity to my sense. I like more things to be there. Um, this, I think, will be great for layering stuff. It's kind of like a white milk, where white milk, though, is, is heavy. White milk is very heavy with that honey and the creaminess with the vanilla and stuff like that. And you can definitely make things smell a lot better with white milk. I can see you doing the same thing with this. This would be nice to layer with other scents. If you want to make, if you want to sweeten up something, that would be perfect for that. The next one is Absolute Crystal Glow. This is their inspiration of <clears throat> Bright Crystal Absolute by Versace. I loved this scent. I actually have a full bottle. I went through two full 3.4 fluid ounce bottles one summer. I was not playing around. This was my summer scent. So when I saw that they had it, I was like, wow, okay. Let's pick it up. Now, this has notes of pomegranate, uzu, Water notes, peony, raspberry, lotus, magnolia, musk, mahogany, and amber. And to me, it's just a very, it's um, crystal glow and crystal glow absolute, just very fresh smell um, scents. That ouzo and that lemon and those water notes really come out. It's just a very fresh. And that's why I love it during the summertime. Take a nice shower, moisturize. And when you go out, it just, sm you smell clean. It's not a clean girl scent. Like it doesn't smell like laundry or like a clean scent but it's just fresh very aquatic and fresh this is still giving the aquatic and the freshness but in crystal glow the og i pull more raspberry yes the raspberry is there i get more raspberry so i get more of the peony raspberry and that aquaticness the freshness here not so much raspberry more of the freshness more of the uzu or yuzu, the pomegranate, and the water notes. Not so much raspberry. 
but it's definitely fresh. This is a this is a really nice fresh scent. Spring summer is coming. This would be nice to pick up. Um, let me see. It's not bolted, right? That's a regular. It's a regular scent, so you're able to get it. You can pick it up on the website. But I would definitely recommend the original. So if you had to pick between the original and this, despite it being $33, I would go for the original. I love Bright Crystal and Bright Crystal Absolute. Like I will always go for the original of those. Like it's just the, the freshness mixed with the raspberry just gives it like an ultimate freshness and like this fruity, playful, like fun freshness because of the fruit. Next, <clears throat> this one's been going around a lot too on Facebook, and this is the strawberry and peach swirl. So this was highly recommended, and I like fruity. I said, hey, this sounds like it'll be good, so let's try it. Right? Okay, so strawberry and peach swirl has notes of peach puree, strawberry puree, vodka, peach margarita, strawberry cream, bourbon, and white musk. Now let me tell you something. Though the, the vodka, the bourbon, all the margarita, all the alcohol you get. This smells like a fruity drink. Now, when people say boozy, right? I don't know when when, when people say boozy or they want a boozy um, fragrance. I know boozy can mean alcoholic smelling fragrance, but when I think of boozy, I think of like a hard, like a brown liquor boozy it's like a brownish alcohol um like a dark one this does have that alcohol smell it definitely smells like a drink um i'm smelling more of the peach than strawberry and let me see yeah Heavy on the vodka and stuff. Um, more peach and strawberry right now. I wish the fruits were more pronounced. I wish that they were more peach, more strawberry. I wish it was a fruitier. Yeah, so I kind of want to let it sit for a little bit and um, come back and see how I feel. Hopefully the fruits come out more because I would love that. And then I think this would be like the perfect summer like date going out girlfriends brunch stand so next up is the sweet pink cloudscape this one was another one that was just okay to me and we'll get into it because i know people are gonna be like what yeah yep this one was just okay to me so it's the inspiration of cloud pink by ariana grande i never smelled the original i do have the original cloud that's in the blue bottle I never smelled this one. Has notes of pink pineapple, dragon fruit, berries, vanilla orchid, coconut milk, blush amberette, moss crystal, amber woods, musk, and praline. Now, it is very sweet when you first spray it. Hmm. I smell the dragon fruit and the berries. Hmm. I want to say it has that Baccarat 540 DNA, just like the original cloud. So it kind of smells like the original cloud, but sweet, uh, more fruity, more like airy, sweet, fruity. But it smells similar to the original cloud. Just like it smells more pink, if that makes any sense. It smells more like sweet pink on top of the original cloud. But I'm, I'm definitely getting the dragon fruit and the berries. Dragon fruits, I think it smells good to me. I like dragon fruit. Oh, I guess that pink pineapple. I don't know, a pink pineapple? I've never seen that, but maybe it's the pink pineapple and the dragon fruit that's giving it that pinkness on top of cloud DNA. Oh, nice. Okay, next up is Oh Baby. Oh Baby. Misleading because there's strawberry and milk on the container, but it doesn't smell like strawberry. Uh, <laughs> Oh Baby, inspired by Cry Baby Perfume, Milk by Melanie Martinez. Notes are milk, strawberry, forest fruits, powdery notes, caramel, and woody notes. Now, I don't smell any strawberry in this. I've never smelled the original, so I can't comment on the original. Don't know what it smells like. When I wanted to get the original, it was sold out, and now it's for crazy expensive. I don't think she's putting it out anymore, 
So I, I don't know what the original smells like. This one, however, you get this powdery, uh, fruity sweetness. There's some fruit there and people have commented that it smells like guava. I can see that. Definitely don't get the strawberry, but that's the thing. If you go into this because you have Melanie Martinez's Cryberry Milk Perfume and you're like, oh, I'm gonna pick up Obey because it's a dupe, you're gonna be disappointed, I think. Again, I never smelled it, but if you were looking for that strawberry milkshake kind of thing, you're not gonna get it here. This does not smell like a, a strawberry milkshake at all. It's fruity, it's powdery, there's some like tonic vibe to it, not extremely milky or creamy. But um, I like it. I like it for what it is. I like it for a person who's never smelled Cryberry, Crybaby, who's picked up this scent. Um, yeah, knowing it should smell like strawberry milk, but it doesn't. I still like the fragrance. So fruity, powdery, slightly latonic but not super electronic. It doesn't give me super milk, milky. More powdery, fruity. I'm guessing the, the forest fruits are what I'm smelling and the powder. But I think it's very nice. It's very, it's very sweet. Um, it'll be nice to go out again. This is a nice spring summer scent. Bright, uplifting. Yeah. I can definitely see myself wearing it. So I, this is one of my loves. This is one of my loves. <clears throat> okay. The next love that I have was actually very surprising um, because it brought me back, guys. So this one here is Alexandra Short. This was also recommended to me and I didn't know what to expect reading the notes. Let me just go ahead and bring up the notes really quickly. So Alexandra Short has notes of bergamot peel, caramelized vanilla sugar, vanilla milk, Turkish rose, vanilla cake, whipped cream, vanilla musk, and white musk. Um, yeah, so I didn't know what to expect by looking at the notes. Sometimes I don't go by the notes specifically like all the time because they're, what, um, really what it is with fragrances is how they blend together because you can have I can see a fragrance that has notes of caramel, vanilla, I don't know, caramel and vanilla, two of my favorite things, and praline, right? And I'll think, oh my God, this, this one smells so good. Then when I get it, it smells awful. It's like the way it's blended, the, the, the you know percentage of each one, how they blend it together, that's what really makes a fragrance. So when I read this, I saw Turkish rose. I'm not really a rose person, but it was um, recommended and I got it for sale and I said hey what the heck let me just go ahead and try it and let me tell you guys something this one right here takes me back to my teenage years when I was a teenager I posted I posted on Facebook my first scent ever was Britney Spears fantasy I was obsessed with Britney Spears fragrances. Um, my mom bought me the gift set with the, you know, the pink bottle with the jewels and um, loved it. There was another one at the time that came out. I think this may have been her first fragrance. It was called Curious. It was in a light blue bottle and I hated it. It smelled like acetone to me, like a nail polish remover. I didn't like it. A lot of people did. <laughs> and they would drown themselves in it and I just could not stand it. But there was a flanker to Curious, which was called In Control Curious. And that's what this reminds me of. If anybody remembers, In Control Curious was in a black bottle with a pink cap and it had a pink pump atomizer. It had the, the pump that you you uh, squeeze it and you spray it. So it's like, it. if I have a picture, I'm going to insert it. It was like a pump that you squeeze and it, it sprayed out like, you know, those old time vintage perfume bottles it was so gorgeous i love that i felt like such an adult using it i was like oh, look at me with my adult perfume and um i love that scent so much the only thing was it did not last i bought a shower gel body lotion i would drown myself in it and then spray it again throughout the whole day and it just did not last on me but i love the smell so bad if anybody remembers In Control Curious, this is what Alexandra Short reminds me of. It's a spicy, 
vanilla, spicy vanilla caramel. Is it caramelized vanilla sugar? There's a spiciness to it. And I think the spiciness is the Turkish rose, although Turkish rose is not spicy. I feel like it's mixing with something that's making it give off this spicy um, feel. A spicy caramel vanilla. You don't get too much bergamot, but there is something kind of uplifting about it and airy. And this is so good. You can smell the Turkish rose, but again, I feel like it's mixing with something and making it kind of peppery. This is delicious, and I'm so happy I picked it up. This is an instant love because it just, I'm telling you, it's like a flashback. I just went back in time to when I had In Control Curious, and I absolutely loved it. So, yes, Alexandra Short, love it. Absolutely love it. <clears throat> Next one is Choco Biscotti. You guys already know. If you already know me, you know me and coffee scents and anything coffee related, I'm going to be absolutely in love with. So Choco um, Biscotti has notes of toasted biscuits, milk chocolate, double strength brewed espresso, brown sugar, cacao powder, vanilla milk and buttercream. I don't know. This might be giving my cafe to do a little run for its money. This smells like chocolate, like a hard chocolate chip cookie. And like you're drinking a nice smooth black coffee, black coffee, and you have chocolate chip cookies with you. They're not soft chocolate. These are the hard chocolate chip cookies. Well, biscotti, biscottis are hard. Chocolate chip biscotti. Hmm. And call. Oh my listen i don't know now i'm confused i'm confused because cafe de dua be doing it for me it's like so cafe de dua smells like a smooth black coffee with lemon pastries and like um you get this like assortment of pastries and if you watch my old my past review of the, the comparing the different coffee scents it's like an assortment of these pastries. This one smells specifically like you're eating a chocolate chip biscotti with your black coffee. This is so delicious, so delicious. If you like chocolate chip and you can smell like the texture of the biscotti. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If you like, if you're a fan of coffee scents and you like sweets, some chocolate chip, grab you a Choco Biscotti. It is in stock. Yes, it's in stock. It's not bolted. It is a fragrance that is available. Go ahead and grab it. <laughs> that is a good one. That's a good one. I'm gonna have to get me a backup bottle. Now, last but certainly not least, this is the one I love the absolute most out of my entire haul. And this is also talked up a lot on the Facebook group. This is Her Shyness. This one is so nice. Let's go into the notes really quickly. Okay, so Her Shyness has notes of candied red apple, whipped cream, vanilla, amber, sugar, and soft musk. You guys. This is such a nice fruity apple smell. Like it's giving a little bit of green Jolly Rancher, like a green apple Jolly Rancher. But at the same time, giving like green apple suave shampoo. I know that's some cheap shampoo. I know it's cheap. But this is like a nice green apple shampoo because it gives you this freshness and this cleanness. While it's also candied. I know it says candied red apple, but this is definitely given green, not red. And sugar. You get the sugar, that green, that candied green apple. Think Jolly Rancher green apple with added sugar. And like this freshness, like it just smells fresh, like clean. Out the shower clean girl like so pretty this is so pretty 
perfect. This would be perfect for spring, summer. Definitely in the summer. You have to like green apples. I'm not getting red. Mmm. Beautiful scent. Jolly Rancher green app, candied green apple. A little bit of um, clean shampoo-ish. This is very nice. Very nice. I, I feel like this is also nice for young ladies. <clears throat> if you're starting... Um, your daughter out with fragrances. This would definitely be one that you can pick up and um, give to her. And it's just like, it's so cute. So about her shyness. You know, it's, it's a cute, this is a very cute, happy, <clears throat> fruity scent. Mainly apple and it's green apple. So let's go ahead before we wrap up. I'm going to re-smell everything and I'm just going to um, see if it's changed much since we first spoke about it. Okay, extremely vanille. Now I'm getting more of those candies. Let's go back to extremely vanille really quick. Okay. Before when I first sprayed it, I only got um, the vanilla caramel that I was telling you guys about, right? And the benzoin. Now I'm getting those candied fruits. I'm getting fruits now. I don't know what fruits, but there's, there's more. there's more to the mix now. I'm not getting anything floral, so I don't know. I don't really smell the white flowers. And I'm not picking up peach blossom specifically or lemon, but the candied fruits, whatever those candied fruits are, they're there now. I just don't know what they are. But there's a slight fruitiness, a fruitiness in this creamy caramel like pool. It's like a creamy caramel undertone with some fruit, some fruitiness on top. This is actually really nice. Still rather light. I, don't, I feel like I would use this to layer still. Something you want to add some creaminess to, but also maybe a little sweetness, like some fruits. Yeah. That might smell really good with white milk. Maybe. All right, Absolute Crystal Glow. You still have the freshness, but it's a little powdery now. Still lacking on the raspberry. I don't, I don't really pick out the raspberry, which I would have loved to see more of. So that's unfortunate. But still nice and fresh. Fresh, powdery, aquatic. This is a nice um, spring summer scent. <clears throat> Strawberry and peach swirl. Still heavy on the alcohol, not getting too much fruit. No strawberry or peach unfortunate yes yeah, unfortunate because i would have liked to see more of the the fruits sweet pink cloudscape <clears throat> your girl been sick for a couple of days so you know it's hard to do these videos when your nose is not working with you so i'm a little congested please excuse me definitely dry down to baccarat now you have that kind of like cotton candy ish you know that Baccarat smell. So all that like um, the fruitiness that we, the pink fruitiness, the pink uh, pineapple and dragon fruit is gone. You just left with Baccarat now. <clears throat> oh baby. Mm. A little more like tonic now. A little more milky. Still milky and powdery. And you have that fruit. I have to smell guava. But I can imagine it is a guava. Especially because most people are commenting that they smell guava. It's definitely a fruit there though. Not strawberry. But it's a little more milky and powdery now. Hmm. Do I see myself like really using this like that? I don't know. Smell something a little lemony, something like citrusy. That might be the guava. Something's a little like lemony, like a little citrusy. I could, I could. We'll see. <laughs> I don't. I'm undecided. I'm undecided with that one. Alexandra Short. 
Mm, yes. Girl, this in control, you did your thing. I don't know if she's gonna watch this video, but you did your thing. This is so good. I wonder if she smelled in control curious. And that's what it was inspired by. Oh, this is amazing. I need to get another bottle of this. Yes. Chaco biscotti. Okay, you, you get more. You're getting more of the biscuit flavor of the biscotti. I feel like you're getting less of the chocolate now, like less of the chocolate chip. And this is more just like biscuit. <laughs> biscuit. And the coffee is now in the background. This is more of this biscotti without the chocolate chips. And the coffee is like in the background. Still very good. Still so good. Her shyness. Mm. This is, oh, so nice. Very, if you're if you're into fruity, fresh, mainly green apple, fresh scents that smell clean, um, very everyday sweet girl, like cute girl, this is it. This is it. It's in the same category as um kind of like fresh. Fre uh, I was gonna say crystal glow. Like that fresh kind of fruity. But where uh, crystal, bright crystal absolute is more raspberry. This is green apple. The same freshness. This, so I'm gonna get a backup bottle of her her shyness Chaco biscotti, Alexandra short, and then I'm I'm gonna just wear the rest of these out, and then that's it. So. That is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video and watching me go through these. Um, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Do you smell the same things I'm smelling? Are any of these your favorites as well? Uh, do you dislike any of these? Let me know. Um, consider liking the video if it was helpful, if it helped you to make any decisions, if you were, you know, going back and forth with purchasing anything, and consider subscribing. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.